cellular components of blood as mentioned different types of cells are present in the blood these cells are classified into three groups erythrocytes leucocytes and platelets there are several types of leucocytes erythrocytes these are otherwise called red blood cells or corpuscles these are the most numerous cells in the blood there are about 4.5 to 5.5 into 10 power 9 cells per ml of blood The number of red blood cells are more in children than in adults. Each red blood cell is circular and bicuspid in its shape. Immature red blood cells have all the organelles. After maturation, organelles like nucleus, mitochondria, lysosomes, Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, etc., disappear in RBC. Therefore, mature red blood cells have only plasma membrane and cytoplasm. In some mammals, such as camel, red blood cells have a nucleus. In lower crocodiles, like amphibians, the red blood cells are nucleated and are very large in size. In adults, red blood cells are formed only in the marrow of long bones, while in embryonic stages, they are formed in the liver and spleen. The production of the red blood cells is called erythropoiesis. Red blood cells live for 120 days in the blood. The old red blood cells. and destroyed mostly is spleen and to some extent in liver therefore spleen is called graveyard of red blood cells every day about 10 into 10 to the power of 12 red blood cells are destroyed and the same number of new born red blood cells are added to the blood red blood cells have hemoglobin in the cytoplasm the red color of the red blood cell and of the red blood is due to the hemoglobin this is made up of protein iron an organic molecule called porphyrin hemoglobin takes part in the transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide leucocytes these are otherwise called white blood cells or corpuscles they do not have the pigment hemoglobin and are therefore colorless they are less numerous than the red blood cells they are about 5 to 9 into 10 to the power of 6 white blood cells per milliliter and their number increases under disease condition The life span of white blood cells is 12 to 13 days. New white blood cells are formed in the lymph nodes, spleen, and thymus. Old white blood cells are destroyed in the blood, liver, and lymph. Blood platelets. These are oval or round or bicuspid in the shape. Platelets do not have nucleus but have cytoplasm. These cells play an important role in the clotting of blood. When the blood vessel is injured, the platelets collect the site. of the injury and form a plug this reduces the loss of blood to some extent they also release several factors into the blood which help in blood clotting and in the repair and healing